story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like their mother, born in curls. It's the story of a man named Brady who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men living all together, yet they were all alone. Till the one day when the lady met this fellow, and they knew that it was much more than a hunch, that this group must somehow form a family. That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch. That's the way we became the Brady Bunch. singing the birds are blooming. What's wrong, honey? Nothing, Mom. Can't you see she's on acid? No, I'm not. I'm in love. And this one's totally awesome. You just wait until I bring him home. We'll see what your father says about that young lady. What's wrong, honey? Nothing, Mom. <laughs> How do I tell Mom Dad's a homosexual? What's wrong, honey? Mom, it's so hard to tell you. On the way home from school, I saw Dad with another man going to the gay bath in Beaufort Street. I'm sure your father has a perfectly good explanation, honey. Don't you worry. That bastard! <laughs> Don't ask me, Mr. Brady. I'm just the aide here. <laughs> Where's Greg? Where's Marsha? <laughs> My new boyfriend, Davy Jones. I think we know each other, young man. <laughs> Shouldn't we do something, Mike? No, I think this time she needs to be taught a lesson. <laughs> Alice, Alice, it's terrible. Alice, it's serious. Dad's a puff and his boyfriend's going out with Martha. Sorry, Mrs. Brady, I don't know what came over me. Now, young lady, you go back into your parents and apologize for thinking that. Thanks, Alice. Yes, young lady? Mom and Dad, I want to apologize. I'm sorry I thought Dad was hugging Marsha's boyfriend and has AIDS. Now can I have some dinner? <laughs> now wait just one moment, young lady. I want you all to remember this. Cindy jumped too hastily to the wrong conclusion about Davy Jones and me. I think that should be a lesson to, a, to us all. Right, kids? All right. Right, Dad. All right. Right. Well, Cindy, I think you've punished yourself enough. Sorry, honey. That's all right. This makes up for the time I thought you were seeing the milkman. Where's Bobby? 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 Where's Bobby? 
We'll go look for him. I think something's up with Bobby. Bobby! 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 Bobby, come out. This is serious. No! Okay, we're coming in. Bobby, what have you done? I cut it off! But why? Because I don't want to get AIDS like Dad! Bobby, Dad doesn't have AIDS. He uses a condom. How do you know, Greg? <laughs> well, you know... Where is it? No, no! Bobby, where is it? Tiger, leave it alone! Don't get it! No, Tiger! Well, we'll certainly be having a good time tonight. <laughs> so what are we going to do while Mom and Dad are out? Hey, why doesn't Greg sing a song? Okay, kids, we're going to play a few games. Sit down, Mr. Reaper. This should be fun. <laughs> I'm not playing if you attach electrons to my genitals again. That's okay, Marsha. It's Peter's turn this time. My love for you. Oh, just a little harmless fun, Mr. Brady. <laughs> You're just a crazy family, Mr. Brady. Mom, Dad, we didn't expect you home so early. Yes, I can see that. Now, your father wants to tell you something. Now, your mother and I have been out screwing other couples tonight. Except your mother, well, she doesn't like oral sex. What your father is trying to say is that we're Americans. But we've all got to experiment and get enormous hang-ups. And diseases. Right, and AIDS. Right, now, Bobby, I think you've punished yourself enough. You can go back to your room and sew your penis back on. Gee, thanks, Dad. Well, we've managed to survive another crisis. So that's it, kids. Greg, come to bed with me, and Peter, look after your mother. Sure, Dad. Oh, Mike. <laughs> 